M0FXB Hamtech, welcome to my channel. Here we are with my mesh tash stick tracker, built-in GPS. And we've just been playing around today and we fitted an external antenna. Now I just put it on at a test height at the moment, just got it on this pole here. It's only one foot long and it's 2.6 dBi gain. And okay, you think, well, that's not gonna make much difference there, is it? I mean, look how low it is, it needs to go up there. Okay, it does, but compared to what I'm normally used to, which is a tiny rubber duck, not this one, this is like a super antenna. Uh, what I'm normally used to is um, it's still way better, the fact that it's outside. So let's have a look at our my Mestastic node. Just to show you, it's got an N-type connector there and I'll bring it in in the winter. This is just a temporary and there's a hole in the window, which has been there for years, but yeah, not good. And um, with all the other antenna connectors there. So it just goes through and the cable was a fiver. The antenna was 15 pounds. So you can see it comes through the window there. So back inside the shack, this is the one that the antenna is connected to by SMA. And look, straight away, I'm starting to get some, uh, some signals here. Let's go to, so we're on the channel long fast. If you ever want to work out how to, you know, put the same channel on two devices, and they nearly always are on long fast. All you do is just go to your, this one here, and you just use that QR code, scan it with the app on the other device. And you can control multiple devices on one app, and then they'll all be on the same channel then. And to add multiple devices, you just, let me get it right now, you just, when you're on this page, so the last grid, just click plus, and you can start adding one. This, that one's called 5514. So we'll go over to messages, click that. I have sent out a message which did go out. Look, there's no, there is a tick in the cloud, um, but no one did reply. But from a different point of view, how are we getting messages? You can see one just came through there. That one's from me. And this 67%, apparently it's quite an important figure. I'll just show you these devices here. That's the Helltech version three. That's the Lilygo T-Beam has built-in GPS, which I like that one. This is called the Tracker. The Helltech Tracker also has built-in GPS. And I'm gonna fix the antenna correctly there. These cases, I'll put a link in the description under eBay for these cases. I just like them because they've got the flat sort of camera battery inside underneath there. You've got the flat camera battery, it's so much neater. I mean, these ones that you can buy do work. These sort of 3.7 type things, they're only a few pounds. They work fine. Um, but anyway, so let's just see if we look at our app again. Just wait, you've just got to be patient, let the things come through the messages. That one's got location. Gareth there, that's an hour ago. So we'll just leave it pottering now for a while see what we pick up. You'd be surprised what comes in. You can scroll through what you're receiving using the button on the actual device, yeah? Which is the middle one. That's me sending out a message. And they're basically, you know, what are they? They're like mini packet radios. They're mini radios that send packets of data, um, location, messaging, and probably more. You can, with the Helltech version, three it doesn't actually come with gps you can use a fixed location or you can do what i did add a gps antenna and i use this gps booster and so that makes sure that i've always got a location Let's see if i can just press that button without getting my hand in the way just go like so and then you can scroll through you know what message you got through there and it's a bit glary in here Nothing major at the moment. We've got our lock with the, uh, you know, we've got a lock there. And really, the antenna needs to go in the loft, let's face facts. So thanks for watching my YouTube channel and having fun with mesh tastic off-grid. And remember, don't be, don't think, all oh, this is a bit too technical for me. No, it's not. You buy them, you connect them to your PC, you run the mesh tastic flasher, which looks like that. You select your device, you select the firmware, just do the, I always select the top one flash done yeah it does everything for you it names it it turns on bluetooth then you download the app on your phone and on your phone it will just give you a thing saying oh bluetooth connect and then a number will appear on your whichever device you've got they all do it 
Yeah, it looks like we've just had a message there um, from 11.9 kilometers away, RF UK pole. Now, why is that not on my app? Let's have a look. Let's go the other way. Oh, there it is there. So the message is starting to come through and we can even tap and it will even go to the map of where that is and I can, you know, try and get an idea where that is. But anyway, it says on there how many miles it was. It's 11.9, that's 12 kilometers away um, from that one there. And like I said, you get a Bluetooth number, Bluetooth number on your device, yeah? And, and you're, you're sending messages. Um, so if we want to go back now to try and find, we've got Klaus Top Yagi. I'm not sure why it says question marks. KWHS, Hells Owen High Ground. That looks like a Bristol one. So we've got all these messages coming in. Tell me what the question marks mean. Uh, is it just because their location? Is it because Robbo? Oh, it's 15 days ago, so. Back to that, I've got another channel here. I'm not really sure. I haven't learned much about selecting different channels. And remember, you can control these with your Bluetooth, iPhone, or Android device. You can change it to Wi-Fi and just use a browser, or you can do what they call select serial connection, which is really simple. If you go into the radio, three dots here at the top, radio configuration, it's everything you can configure. One of them is called serial. Just turn it on, look, serial enabled. It means that that device, you'll be able to control it with a USB cable, three dots radio. Position, let's make sure that our GPS is enabled. Yes, it is enabled. Okay, go back. Channels, I need to learn about, you know, what channels can I go on? I know it always, this always seems to be long fast, but you know, what is everyone connecting to? I need to learn about MQTT because apparently, you turn that on, and if I just quickly do it now, uh, just quickly, and it, well, every time you make a change, it sort of reboots things. Uh, although I didn't see anything reboot. But anyway, close. You turn it on, it starts sending all your data to what they call the MQTT server, but I think it receives it as well. Then you go back and go back to your channel, which is, let's just get it right now. You go back to, I know what you do. It's actually saying that I'm not connected now, so I'm not sure what I've done there. Uh, but when you do, if it was connected, you go radio configuration. Oh, what's this coming through? 20 minutes ago. Are you on a boat, it says. Is that me? Is he talking to me? And this is why I recommend getting several devices because they're not expensive. Look, my location there, because this one's got GPS. Anyone receive me? That's the message that I sent. So I'm just wondering why, how we lost connection, but we're going to reconnect by going like, go back. What do you think now? Hit the last grid. I should be connect. Oh, it's got the tick back on now. That's mistake. Maybe it was rebooting. Go back to messages. No one replied to. Is anyone receiving me? So what we were looking at is radio configuration, device position, display, network. That's where you can change to using Ethernet or Wi-Fi, and you just ask for your username and password of your router at home. And oh yeah, regarding MQTT, what I remember doing is you go to your channel, your like so, radio config, and you, you allow up upload, so go channel. So there you are, you allow uplink save. And then apparently, you know, things that you send out, and I'll just say hi, go across the whole network now, and I could be long, wrong. I see the boat message now, are you on a boat? That was from a previous message. So it's all about tinkering, learning, watch lots of videos out there, get lots of information that the high came out, obviously, because they're so close together. And um, get your head around it, and it's just another little gadget in the shack that you can uh, monitor information with, and I'll turn off the MQTT now. Bye for now, 7-3, all the best.